Boy, the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the sun and it's with the seven of wands. Now, the sun card, with this one, it's beautiful. You see how it pops out over all the cards on this table? With the Sun card, you're likely to have things going really well. Even though your finances, they're in good shape when you get the Sun card. Keep in mind, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money, it's not high on the list for some of you. It's also going to be a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card can signify that it's right around the corner. Now, it's with the Seven of, yeah, seven of Wands. With the Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You still may have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's actually the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. And I say this because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. The Seven of Wands, it can point to towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So Scorpio, the sun clarified by Seven of Wands for the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, it looks like for a lot of you, you're with someone that made you really, really happy. And I'm getting you make this person very happy also. Because the sun card can be about adding sunshine to your person's life. It can be about bright and happy times. So this was good for the both of you. Both of you made each other happy. And you wanted to come out on top. And win the connection. Because the Seven of Wands can be about being the last man standing. And that's how you felt with your person. They made you so happy. You made them so happy. You realize that this, this is the one. You want to be the last man standing. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Two of Pentacles, and it's with, wow, it's with the Tower. Okay, so Two of Pentacles, it can be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. When you get the Two of Pentacles, multitasking is not your friend. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Maybe your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So be sure that you're paying attention there. Now it's with the tower. The tower card can actually be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. It's important to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situation that you counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this does not have to be drastic because we know change. Change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. 
And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic, realistic and reachable goals and dreams. That is, if some fantasies fall apart. Keep in mind, dreaming is important. But it's also important to be living in reality. So, coming up, Scorpio, two of Pentacles clarified by the Tower. The message that I'm getting is that, yeah, your person is going to be really busy. Now, the two of Pentacles could be you. Could be you or your person. One of you are going to be really, really busy. And it's going to make the other feel like they're having trouble finding time and energy for the connection. Yeah, and it's going to make you or your person feel like the relationship is not high on the priority list. Because somebody's going to just be busy. I don't know if someone has two jobs, if someone's living long distance. Because the Two of Pentacles can be about back and forth. Back and forth. Having several tasks. Yeah, somebody's got a lot to do coming up in January. So it's going to feel like... It's going to make you or your person feel like... Things are going to come crashing down. It's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like... The two of you might have a tower moment. I'm not saying that you're going to have a tower moment. I'm not getting that you're going to have a tower moment, but it's going to feel like it for some of you. Now, for some of you, you will have a tower moment and things just fall apart because your person is, is too busy. But for a lot of you, I'm feeling it's just going to feel like a tower moment is is coming between you and your person because somebody's going to feel left out because your person has three jobs they live long distance they're helping their mother out they're doing this they're doing that so you're going to feel like you're not on you're not a priority for them so it's going to start to feel like things are crashing down or the connection is falling apart it's going to feel like that yeah, and for some of you, like I said, the connection is, it could fall apart. That's what the tower is really all about. But the good thing about the tower is that you're always enlightened by the disaster. Yeah, you see things that you never saw before. So, you learn a lesson from a tower moment. And that's always a good thing. So let's move over and let's see what the challenge is. We got the Ace of Cups in the higher foot. Now the Ace of Cups is a very powerful, power, powerful, positive card in the deck when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. It's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are look, looking up. People will respond to you with love. Happiness, goodwill more than usually at this time. And you should be feeling really good about life. Great time to make friends when you see the Ace of Cups. Now it's with the Hierophant. With this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When you're called on for advice or help. Your intelligence and your empathy put you in a position to provide tremendous support. So, this could be you, or someone coming towards you, or someone that you know. They're quick-witted. They're well-educated, wise teachers, marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they're the real deal. They're the genuine article, a true blue, highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, they talk the talk. 
and they stand firm in their beliefs and their convictions. Yeah, the Hierophant. Very moral, very ethical and traditional, this Hierophant. So, your challenge, Ace of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant. So, like I said, for some of you, things are going to fall apart. Your person is having a hard time putting you on the priority list. But, yeah, for others, your person, they're still in it to win it. Because we got this beautiful Ace of Cups here. Yeah, Ace of Cups can be about deep attraction and warmth, happiness, love, and affection, and wanting a new beginning. So your person, they're still in it to win it for most of you. Even though you could have felt like things are falling apart. But your person wants a new beginning with you or a fresh new start. Because they, they know or they felt things crumbling when they got busy. Yeah. And they could be with the higher event here. Um, yeah, you could feel like this is the one because the higher event is about loyalty. Someone being true and honest and sincere. So, yeah. Scorpio, you could feel like this is the real thing. This is, this is something that you've been wanting. Who doesn't want loyalty? Who doesn't want someone who's sincere and doesn't play games? Yeah, and when the Hierophant talks about love and relationships, and if you're asking about how your person is feeling, and you get the Hierophant, just know that they love you very deeply. And it's actually a love that cannot be broken. So yeah, your person has deep love for you. They want a new beginning. And this is the type of energy that you've probably been looking for, for a long time, for a lot of you. So your person, Scorpio, they're still in it to win it. Yeah, I hope I haven't been seeing Sagittarius. I just finished quite a few readings, so if I get the work, the um, signs of the, the names twisted, forgive me. But this is a Scorpio reading. Yeah, so Scorpio. Your person is still in it to win it, even though they've been busy. Okay, so we've got the outcome. Knight of Cups. And it's with a Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Cups, like most, if not all the Cups, is very optimistic. Good card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages. These are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups, it tells you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. Yeah, this card can mean good news is coming in, especially in the realm of matters of the heart. Yeah, somebody's about to reach out. Being romantic and sensitive. That's the Knight of Cups. Now it's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while. And that things in general will be going better than you thought ever possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth. Share your happiness with others. Beautiful. I love this outcome. Knight of Cups clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. For your outcome, Scorpio. Yeah, so this is, like I said, this is beautiful. The, the outcome. So, like I said, your person is still in it to win it, even though some of you might experience a tower moment but for like i said for most of you it's gonna feel like a tower moment because somebody's just doing too much somebody just got too much going on they know that you make them really happy 
and you know you want to be the last man standing with your person. So, yeah, whoever was busy, busy, busy for the outcome, they come rushing in. Like I said, being romantic and sensitive, they'll be reaching out to you with messages and texts, and some of them will be flying in just to be with you if they're long distance. Yeah, things will be going really good for the two of you for a while. For a good long time, because you got the Nine of Pentacles. Things will be better than you even thought possible. The connection will rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. Most people want the Ten of Pentacles when they get a reading. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is the tops when it comes to the Pentacles. But you got the Nine of Pentacles. That's pretty darn good. You're just short of one pinnacle. So it's a very positive, positive outcome for you and your person. So Scorpio, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. And, um, yeah, just keep in mind... Um, these are general readings. They will not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. <laughs>